Do you need to buy the studio version for DaVinci Resolve on your iPad if you already bought the studio version on your desktop? That's the question I want to answer today. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a filmmaker. I'm talking about tips and tricks for DaVinci Resolve on your iPad. A couple of days ago, I made two important videos. Number one, I showed you how you can unlock all of the pages. If you don't know that yet, you should definitely watch this video because that means that our DaVinci Resolve in the future probably will become, and I think it's already, the most powerful app for filmmakers on the iPad. And a couple of days ago, I also talked about how you can unlock the studio version. Yes, at the moment, if you open it up, it's the free version. There is not a download on the App Store. I showed you how you can actually get to this window where you can buy the studio version for DaVinci Resolve on your iPad. Now, a couple of questions in the comments we're talking about, hey Daniel, do I need to buy the studio version if I already have the studio version on the desktop? Which is kind of, it makes sense, right? In one way or the other way. But Blackmagic actually stated that very clearly. No, each platform needs its own studio license. So if you want to use the studio version on the iPad, you have to buy the studio version. But it only costs 120 uh, at least in Euro, 115 euros, I think. But what I think is actually interesting because we found out that all the pages are working, not properly, they're still like trying to fix everything and it's not perfectly working. But for you, if you already work it or use it, you can use them. What is interesting for me is it shows the direction where it's going. So I think in the future, I can't tell you when, and maybe it takes even years to figure everything out, but it's already working. A lot of things are working pretty well. So I think it makes sense to buy the studio version if they keep the same rules like they have on the desktop. So if you buy the studio and a new update comes up like 19 or 20, and you still can upgrade to that one, then I think at the moment it's on a cheaper price point than they will charge maybe in the future. Imagine a future when DaVinci Resolve is completely function on the iPad, like on desktop. For me, I think I will upgrade in the future, but for now, when I make all of those videos talking about tips and tricks and things that are working, I will not update and upgrade because I, I wanna avoid that something then happens or works on my version because I bought the studio version and I cannot say, oh, or let's say if it doesn't work on the free version, but it works on my version and then you guys are confused. Oh, Daniel, it works on your machine, but not on mine. So that's why I'm not upgrading at the moment. And if I understand more what the difference is in the future, I will make a video about what's in the free version and what's in the studio version, and I will put a link in the description. That's it for now. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything about the iPad version from DaVinci Resolve, just let me, just leave me a comment. And I'm Daniel, see you in the next video. Bye.